Toke geckos may be known for their bright colors, coming in shades of blue with red to yellow spots, but they can also be well known for their temperament. Toke geckos are some of the largest living geckos in the world. They average a foot in length, including their tails, though females are typically a bit smaller than males. The two sexes can also be distinguished by the more pronounced femoral pores on the male's inner thighs. Technically, femoral pores are found in both male and female toke geckos, but they're much larger in the males. These pores are used to excrete pheromones that attract mates. Toke geckos also employ a second, more observable strategy when seducing a member of the opposite sex. They chirp. Here's an example of a toke gecko's voice. This calling card is not only what gave toke geckos their scientific name, it's also from where their common name is derived, being considered an onomatopoetic utterance of both the words toke and gecko. Throughout the breeding season is the only time toke geckos come together, otherwise they're known as solitary creatures. Toke geckos begin breeding during the onset of the rainy season in their native homes throughout South and Southeast Asia. Toke geckos will breed multiple times throughout the season, giving the female a chance to lay eggs in monthly succession. About an average of once per month, the female will lay two to three hard-shelled eggs that stick to each other and the surface on which she lays them. The parents will defend the eggs, which take almost seven months to hatch, and these moms and dads can be fierce opponents. Toke geckos, especially the males, will ruthlessly defend their territories. Adults are often seen covered in scars from these battles, and when handled, toke geckos are capable of drawing blood, though often it's only wild-caught tokes that prove to be the rowdy ones. If you want to learn more about toke gecko husbandry, we recommend Clint's Reptiles videos on them. In the wild, toke geckos live in rainforest-like environments. They are arboreal creatures, and they'll happily inhabit cliffsides as well. There is actually another species of toke gecko who is more commonly associated with cliff-clinging behavior. These are the Reeves toke geckos, and until recently they were considered the same species as toke geckos. Reeves toke geckos appear darker in color, sometimes even being called the black tokes, though all toke geckos are able to darken and lighten their skin tones, though perhaps not as impressively as a chameleon. Toke geckos are awesome climbers because of their awesome toes. Their foot pads have teeny tiny hair-like structures called seti that cling to a surface to the point that a toke could hang its entire body from a single toe and still cling to a surface. We talked about awesome gecko feet in our gecko episode if you want to check that out. Toke geckos may also be found living in close proximity to humans and human settlements in their native ranges. This is because they help control pest populations. Toke geckos eat mostly arthropods, including crickets, spiders, termites, mosquitoes, moths, locusts, beetles, and more. But they may also take small rodents and snakes. In turn, toke geckos may be eaten by snakes, but they are able to drop their tails if needed to make an escape. The dropped tail will grow back, but likely not as long as the original. Even if they can avoid being eaten, toke geckos may live less than a decade in the wild. For more facts on toke geckos, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.